Ever get tripped up by that saying, easy is hard is easy? Yeah, it's kind of a head scratcher. We'll get ready to untangle it today as we dive deep. We've got data science guru Dr. Barton Polson's work as our guide. We're going to see how simpler can actually be better. Especially in data work where things get naughty fast. So how did Dr. Polson bring this to life? He's a big cyclist, right? Found himself way faster on a single speed bike. Wait, really? You'd think more gears equals more speed automatically. You'd think so. But he was up against geared bikes even. No way. So what was the secret weapon then? It's about those limitations. You gotta love them. Okay. That single speed bike forced him to get strategic. I can see that. Couldn't rely on just shifting gears for a boost. Had to work with what he had. Exactly. He yeah. was clocking lap times like 8 to 11% faster on that single speed. Now that's turning a constraint into a win. And this easy is hard thing. It's not just bikes, you know. Oh, I bet. Think about data analysis, picking a plain old spreadsheet for some big task. Instead of the fancy software. Yeah. Might seem crazy limiting at first. Yeah, that'd make my brain hurt. But it makes you wrestle with the data differently. Okay, so you're more in the thick of it. And that can actually surface insights you'd miss otherwise. So sometimes the harder path is the more eye-opening one. It's like Richard Long, the artist. Ever heard of him? Rings a bell, vaguely. He did this piece, a hundred mile walk. Walked in a perfect circle, no matter the terrain. A oh. hundred miles. Talk about dedication to a bit. <laughs> that constraint, that circle, that's what made it art. Okay, that's a new way to think about walking in circles. See, embracing those limitations can lead to some amazing stuff. And that applies to data, too. 100%. So how does this easy as hard thing become hard as easy when we talk data? Well, think back to Dr. Polson on that single speed bike. Okay, picture it. Choosing the tough option that actually made him a better rider overall embracing the constraint to find a smoother ride. Exactly. And it's the same in data work. This hard is easy idea, it really shines there, choosing simpler tools sometimes. Even though it seems counterintuitive. Right. Like Dr. Polson analyzed this crazy complex data set and you know what he used, mainly. Let me guess. Back to the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet pivot tables, that's it. No way, you're kidding. Just pivot tables for a whole data set. It's all about working within those boundaries to find a truly elegant solution. I gotta hand it to him, that's thinking outside the box. And get this, with that approach, he managed to explain 100% of the variance with just four variables. Okay, now that's impressive, I have to admit. But besides the wow factor, what's the real world benefit here. Simplicity equals clarity, not just in the analysis itself, but when you're trying to communicate those findings. Because simpler methods are inherently easier to grasp. Easier to set up, troubleshoot, even replicate if you need to. And probably less prone to errors. Exactly. But here's the kicker. They're way easier to explain to stakeholders who aren't data wizards. Makes sense. You're not getting lost in technical jargon. You're getting straight to the heart of the matter, the so what of your findings. And that's what makes data work truly impactful. It's about making the complex understandable and something people can act on. So it sounds like both sides of this easy as hard as easy idea are telling us the same thing, really. Yeah, when you get down to it. That those limitations we bump up against, they can actually become strengths. If you use them strategically, it's a real shift in thinking, isn't it? It is. We tend to see constraints as roadblocks. But they can be like secret weapons for creativity pushing us to find those elegant solutions. And that's true way beyond just data work, don't you think? Absolutely. Think about how we communicate every day. Okay. Yeah. If we can use clear language, cut through the fluff. Get to the heart of our message. It's like choosing the single speed bike of communication, right? I love that. You're really driving that analogy home. Well, Dr. Polson's a huge advocate for this kind of clarity, especially in data work. Which makes sense. Data can be intimidating enough as it is. He talks about how some people might have different starting points with numbers, you know? Like some people just aren't math whizzes. Yeah, or they might have learning differences like dyscalculia makes traditional data analysis really tough. So it's about making data more inclusive then. Exactly. And Dr. Polson walks the walk. How so? He uses visuals, verbal explanations, you name it multiple ways to make his work click. Kind of like meeting people where they are. And he's really consistent too. Same symbols, same formulas, less cognitive overload. Makes it easier to follow along. And he always brings it back to why it matters, the real world stuff. So you're not just lost in the weeds. Exactly, it helps people connect the dots. So as we wrap up this deep dive into easy as hard as easy, what's the one thing you want our listeners to take away? Don't be afraid of limitations. Whether it's in data work, 
or life in general. That constraint could be the key to unlocking something amazing. And I think what you said earlier really stuck with me. What's that? It's about making your work, whatever it is, clear, accessible, and ultimately about connecting with others. Couldn't have said it better myself. This has been a fantastic conversation. Thank you so much for guiding us through Dr. Polson's work. It's been a pleasure. Always love geeking out about this stuff.